Hi everyone, this video is a part of Macquarie University's coding tutorials. Hi everyone, today we'll be talking about assigning values to variables and how that looks like for the data types we have seen so far. Assignment. We have already seen a few variable statements that have some values assigned to them. Now we are going to look at that in detail. With variable assignment, we have a variable name and data type in mind. Then we use the single equal sign to assign a value to that variable. This is a process that moves from right to left in the opposite direction of math equation you may be used to. Firstly, we acquire the value from the right hand side and then assign that through the equal sign to the variable on the left hand side. We call values and variables expressions but as we've mentioned previously, we can declare and assign or initialize a value at different stages of our program. Assigning data types. As we have looked at, we have data types of ints, floats, chars, and booleans. We also have a collection of chars called a string, which is often a word in its use with double quotes. Remember that char uses the single quotes. If we have an int variable called taxi and we want to assign it the value 70, we know that the data type of the taxi variable will be an int, as 70 is a whole number. Once we have declared a variable as a particular data type, we cannot change it during the course of our program. Reassigning variables. Once we have declared a variable as a particular data type shown as taxi in our previous example, we cannot change it during the course of our program. However, we can change the value that variable holds, as long as it matches with the same data type. If we declare and initialize the taxi variable with the value 70, we can change its value at a later point to the value 20, or even negative 90. We follow the same pattern with the other data types. Once we declare a variable, we can change its value at any point without redeclaring the variable. Floats. Here we have a floating point variable called pizza, which we give the initial value of 2.5, then 12.5, and then finally 0.0. Boolean and Charles. Boolean and Charles operate the same way. Here we have Boolean game over variable, and then first we assign the value false then true. Similarly, with the char variable ch equals to capitalize a, we can assign it and or for. These are all valid examples of how we can assign and reassign values. There are a few advanced options we'll see in the future, but these are the foundations. Strings. Strings are slightly different. The first big difference is that string uses a capital S at the start of their name, unlike the lowercase or primitive data types we have seen so far. Strings can function in a similar way to a char if they hold a single character, but they can further hold words or whole sentences. Here we have the string variable str equals to a. A string but looks like a char. Then we have we can assign it or reassign it string equal to computing at mq or string equal to the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog or string equal to double quotes. This is an empty string and it's still valid. That's all we have for this section. Thanks everyone. See you later.